Hi guys. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Here's Maribin very early. Well, it may seem early, but it's already 9:30. Because she's gonna cook uh, mung beans or mungo with vegetables from the yard again. And then very our, useful. Yeah, and we're gonna uh, put the our leftover fried fish from last night. What happened to my hair? Leftover from the cut. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so we were cooking that fish last night and we couldn't uh, finish it, of course, because it was plenty. We gave some to the cat and the leftover we're gonna put uh, on these vegetables. Oh, another cloudy day, rainy day. Nagulan to hapun. Happy to the world. <laughs> it's always like this in the Philippines. Sometimes it's sunshine, then rain, sunshine again. Is there anybody out in the front? Oh. Somebody in the front. See, guys, the mung beans. The Maribin is gonna cook. Looking for a well. Yeah, the the his uh Work old before. Yeah, his uh old workplace. Because you know, my brother right now is working as a helper. Yeah, helper. Oh. Maybe Ruel applied for a job there again. Well, he, he made less there before than what he's making now. The thing about this job that he's working in now is like he travels every day and he makes like, like eight. It's far. Yeah, it's very far and sometimes when they ask him to do something uh, like, oh, buy this part, buy that part and they don't pay, give him for gas and he makes the same $8 a day. That's very cheap plus he has to travel. So maybe he thinks that if he works there uh, at that work old place, it's like a hardware store. It's closer and I don't know, I benefit sila. They have a little benefit. Yeah. So I'm sure he is hard is having a hard time sometimes of uh, deciding if he's, is he gonna stay at his job or you know. That's the problem. If you have a job in here, you don't know um if provide your needs. Like yeah. That. Yeah. Well, it's hard to provide your family. You're only making the minimum and you know all your needs and with. You don't make uh, enough to provide yeah. the needs. I mean, well, they can, of course, but barely. You know, they don't. They should at least pay him like five or six hundred. He's a uh, like mechanic helper. No wonder that's um, the reason. Maybe that's the reason why there's a lot of OFW uh, Filipino work. Well, it is uh, the biggest reason. If uh, those o OFWs would make the same amount that they do here, they don't have to leave or they don't have to go outside the country. So, <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's what's happening this morning. <laughs> Dennis is gonna, I asked him about the mung beans and he don't want to eat mung beans. He's on a diet. <laughs> okay. What is this out here? Huh? Oh, I saw that cat's tail. I thought it was a snake. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was a snake? Yeah. And it's a the, cat's all tail? I saw, all I could see was a tail. <laughs> you yeah. thought it was a cobra? <laughs> yeah. 
Davis came out here guys and we're having chica chica and if you're wondering how come there's a lady come here or know where we live well um when they were building this house they, they were the ones who delivered all, all the material so she was like a, a friend you know we even uh credit at this this uh their store before because uh, we know them right. so they trust us and, and then pay it in two weeks and you mm. know if we have ha need halo blocks yeah. or cement and all that tiles yeah. Yeah. so i don't know before we were here you mean. right right yeah. but uh i don't know what my brother's gonna say he's working so hard at where he's working now sometimes over time and they're still paying him the same very, very dangerous job dangerous job They're working on trucks that are broke down in the middle of the highway i know sometimes in the heat yeah in the heat for uh, eight dollars a yeah, day yeah eight dollars a day the same thing even if they do no overtime, overtime. no because they don't have a contract or some kind of like a mm -hmm. you know they don't have benefits no are they working on the house again? Yeah, there, it looks like, sounds like they're working on the house again they're next cleaning door. The house. Huh? They're cleaning. They're the cleaning. House. Look at that bird up yeah. flying in the window again, pooping yeah. in the car pooping again. Pooping in the rearview mirror. Huh? Pooping on the mirror again. I know. <laughs> What's okay. the plan? Plus, you know, your What's next plan is to exercise. Yeah. Maybe I'm trying to decide where the exercise or eat a tuna sandwich first. I don't know. Eat tuna sandwich first. I told you we have mung beans. You don't want? No, I just have. See, we're gonna cook. Bread. Yeah, we're gonna cook these vegetables All with right. the mung beans. All right. So you decide, honey, eating tuna sandwich yeah. before doing your exercise. Yeah good for you i didn't really have dinner last night so i know i was okay. offering you all kinds of stuff last night and you didn't want to no Dean is in an extreme is in an extreme diet yeah <laughs> i don't know about extreme but he is in a very uh strict diet very strict <laughs> but once in a while you know no. it's not bad to have a once little a brownie yeah, a little sunday sunday yeah <laughs> but i'm trying enjoy your meal honey that's I will. breakfast and lunch that's it's right. already 10 o'clock here's yeah. maribina doing the fish because she's getting ready to cook the mongo Mervin's mongo Mung beans. Check it out, guys. Wow, a simple uh, lau oi mungo. <laughs> There's so many different kinds of uh, uh, ways to cook the mungo, and this is how we cook ours. Just simple. Sometimes you can put coconut coconut milk in it, but trust it. If Maribin is cooking it, it's gonna turn out very delicious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> look at that guys very nice Dean is done with his meal and now it's our turn <laughs> let's eat guys let's eat everyone okay so after breakfast <laughs> it's time to do what we have to do first we're gonna i'm gonna take this uh laundry these are towels guys and i'm also gonna stop by at that shop that uh was gonna do our internet fiber you know it's been like i think four days now and they still did not come here for uh like a survey or that if if our house or is good with it so i don't know i'm gonna check with them ready Maribin? let's go <laughs> let's go so I just dropped off the laundry and now I'm gonna go to that place right there where it said Bodega Price just gonna follow up on what's what's the news on the fiber fiber optic home from town I'm still waiting for the yeah I asked her and she said oh they should 
go there anytime soon they would give give us a call before they come here so she told me to basically just wait so we need to have more patient and patient that's what that's one of the things here in the philippines is you have to have a lot of patience <laughs> one sack of wait patient yeah what's your plan maribin nothing nothing okay I'm gonna work on the video. Actually, the sun came out, but who knows how, how long. We need more rain anyway. Hey guys. Hey guys. There's Maribi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we just uh, communicated with Mylin because actually Mylin and Samuel and Samil Samilin came home today. I thought they were not gonna come home until uh, in a or a couple of days they came home early because uh, they have things to do so we were gonna pick up they brought some tilapia from the mountain and they also brought some pork meat from the mountain and Mylin was gonna give me and Maribin some and we can also probably give it to Maritis if Maritis is uh, out of school and uh, but you know we don't know if Maritis has school like late at night because sometimes guys the college uh, they have a seven o'clock class in the evening. They, they have a weird uh, schedule. Yeah. You know, so yeah. what's your plan, mm -hmm. honey? I mean, I just. I don't have a plan today. <laughs> Did you do your exercise today? No, I didn't. I oh. skipped today. Oh, that's fine. You can skip once in a while. Yeah. Me, I don't really have a plan. We're kind of waiting for that fiber optic people still, but. We'll see if they're gonna come today. If not, then whatever. I seriously doubt they're coming today. Who knows? What about you, Maribin? <laughs> you have any plan today? No. <laughs> Maribin don't have a plan either. It smells like plastic in the next well, door. Somebody's burning something They're burning over there. plastic. Huh? Why would they burn plastic? I don't know. Why would they do that now? It's stinky. They do that occasionally though. Yeah, they I do. I have no idea why. Yeah. Well, people here do that. Instead of throwing it in the garbage, they burn it. Oh. Uh. It's very bad for the environment. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's kind of windy no? We'll see what's going to happen bit. if uh, we're going to pick up the... We just doubt to go now because it's about to rain and Mylin said that it's started raining there so we will see. We'll see then. Mylin just texted that the rain there just stopped. It's not raining here but it looks like it's about to. But oh well we're gonna take the rest and <laughs> pick the tilapia and that <laughs> meat from the mountain. Ready? Let's go. Ready. Cloudy guys, very cloudy, like it's about to rain. Wow, raining oh, again. Darling. But we need this rain. Yeah, for our rice too. Yep. <laughs> I'm just concentrating here, guys. Maribin is vlogging now. You're you're good, Maribin, for vlogging. It's alright. <laughs> Maybe you can start vlogging too. I try to encourage uh, Maritis and Maribin and any of them to vlog, but none of them seem to want to do it because they said they don't, don't want to speak English. I you don't them, need to speak English. There's a lot of um, vloggers that speak Tagalog or uh, well, yeah, mother tongue, but you know, it's hard to do the vlogging because you're gonna eat it, you're gonna upload everything. <laughs> yeah, it's no, not really. It's about the rain. Yeah. Um, I hope we're, we come home before the rain. Rains. Yes. I know. We're gonna be there. My name is gonna take the food there uh, where we always meet up. Uh, we'll be there in about 10 to 15 minutes. So oh. we'll see you guys there. Yeah, and we're planning to stop by a Maritis boarding house. Yeah, maybe we can give Maritis some Gives tilapia. tilapia. Yeah. Alright, see you later.
Miley, what happened to your face? Why your face is red? I in it, you're gonna have. Because it's hot earlier when they travel. So, Mariben, you got the goodies? Nalagini. Tilapia and. Nalagini, precious pick. There's a price? 184? Are you. Is it for sale? 120. Oh, it's from the plastic bag. So, my lane is selling it for 184 pesos. No? Nanawa daw? Gulu lang gini ka po. Kahigi gay ng isa. One for Maritis. Thank you so much, Mylene, for the goodies, fish, and the pork meat. Domingo. Okay. Okay, we're leaving now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Gani hara kape? Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Dito. Ano man? Ano man? You guys just saw each other and you were already. <laughs> no, they're friends. They're friends. I There's a tilapia for you. How are you gonna cook it? I know. Yeah. Uh, not cook tilapia. You're gonna have to cook it. You don't want it? Why? Kalas kay butin ba? Kuy butin. Oh, she don't have a gas. Then what are you gonna eat for dinner then? If you don't want the tilapia, it's raw. We just got it from Mylin. She's gonna. You gonna have rice and cucumber for dinner? Unsa mo kagiwi? Kalas kay butin ba? She's schooled after taking a. <laughs> How's your school? Fine. Fine? Dili mo man kayo ago. Do a good job from the school. Gi. <laughs> Do you wanna get something to eat for dinner? Ayun na rin. Kato na ako ang kuhan. Oh, if you want, I offered you. You would rather have the rice, rice and cucumber. Tilapia gani. You wanna go with us? Well, she don't wanna go with us because she said she has an early class tomorrow morning. Delicious. Sunod na. See, your enemy is gonna cook for you dinner if you will go with us. Soon na lang. Next time. Next time. Okay, fine. If you don't want the tilapia, then it's up to you. Maritis decided to just come with us in town so she can buy something for dinner. What you got, Maripis? Street fruits. Street. So you're good now? Yeah. Okay, that's good. What are these? Maripis oh. favorite. <laughs> yeah, her favorite street food. Okay, we're gonna just take you back to your boarding house. Thank you guys. Of course. Let's go. Whoa, we just got home guys and it's raining so hard. Yeah, very hard. Yeah, was, was it harder when we earlier? Yeah. yeah, well there's no rain in the Bontoran. No rain in the Bontoran. Really? Yeah, in the yeah, downtown. Really yeah, I know. I was trying to call you and you keep saying, Oh, I can't hear you. Yeah. But in the Bontoran it's very dry. Really? Yeah, but it's, it's weird. I mean we are in a Buntu run, but I'm talking about the downtown. Anyway, this is the tilapia. Very big tilapia. Yeah, they are. yeah very big. Well, Maritis did it. Maritis, Marisa, and me. Yeah, three of us. Wow. You want some? Sure. Sure? Yeah. Okay, well, fine then. <laughs> It's raining hard. I'm thinking about backing in the car so it will car wash by itself. No? <laughs> okay. 
Anyway guys, that is it for our video today. At least we got the tilapia and some pork. Yeah, those are big ones. Yeah, big ones. And you know why this tilapia is good? Because uh, some wolf's parents uh, raise it into like a stream. The water oh. keeps flowing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really? very clean. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching another video today. And we will see what we're gonna do tomorrow. Thanks guys. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.